Hello everyone, it's Neil House here, and this is Moonlighter. Another game I decided to do about uh, a game. Oh god, it's not recognising my controller. That's always a good start. Uh, it's not even recognising my keyboard. There we go. Right, you recognise my controller? No, you're not. Okay, cool. Fantastic. It's not recognising anything. Uh, let's try this again. Let us try this again and see if it recognises my controller when we restart it. Hopefully, it should. It would be annoying if it didn't. Hey, it's recognizing my controller. Perfect. Alright, cool. But this audio is very loud. There we go. Let's start our journey as a moonlighter. Hard recommended. Okay. Okay. Why is it? Why is recommended hard? Why is it hard on recommended? Hard's normally what's not recommended. Normally it's normal. Among the stars of the night, there is a land as old as imagination. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land. They call them the dungeons. Strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Soon a village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeons. <laughs> they named it Rinokia. Rinoka. Rinoka. Among the settlers, two groups shined brightest. Heroes and merchants. Glory and riches. The dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop, Will of Moonlighter. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. I do like the art style of this. It is a very pretty game. At least. Okay. Let us roll. That's all the buttons do. Doesn't say. Alright, cool. Okay. Oh, it's left trigger. Oh, well. It's going to keep falling, making myself go down that hole. Don't mind me. I'm just using my invincibility frames. Good day, you little slime bastards. Ah, that heals. I'm assuming it uses stuff to heal. Only horizontal attacks can be a bit annoying. Oh, it's a charge attack. Okay. What we got? I don't know what that means. I don't know anything right now. It's just giving me question marks. Okay. Hang on, hang on. There we go. That's what we wanted. Alright, cool. Oh, God. Why are there so many spawning? Oh, my God, there's so many of them.
Leave me alone! I'm assuming I was meant to die because that was impossible. What a sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit, Will. I have you now. I have you, Will. Will! Even as mere child, barely able to walk, you were curious of the dungeons. There is no doubt you carry the same obsession as old Pete. Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Will, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family. The only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for Crater's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this! It's my penis! It's mine from back in the day. I no longer use it anymore. Use it for me. I have little need for my penis now. Now then, get up. You are wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of the tricks that I picked up from my, your grandfather so many, many years ago. Come with me, you lazy fuck. What are you going to teach me, old man? Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop up and allow customers in. Alright, shop's open. Gonna buy anything? Gonna buy anything? Okay. Did you see that best expression you can hope for? The item wasn't too expensive for them, not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customers' expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew his prices were fair. You're not gonna like that one, are you? You're gonna hate it for that much. Yeah, you don't like it for that much. I don't think I need to tell you that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned. Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices as you, on your wares. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and low supply. Take out your merchant notebook. You should hold all the information you have gathered on... Oh god, I just realized it's the same sentence. Gathered on... You have gathered on what discovered wares and artifacts. Okay. It would appear the, the golem crystallized destruction can be found power somehow. Alright, okay, cool. Would seem the sun has fallen for the day. I best head off. You'll pick up more on your own. Restoring the shop to its full glory? That responsibility falls to you, not I. It's in your blood, Will. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeon are more perilous at night, but could, one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far. And use that pendant boy! Okay, I'll use that pendant boy. Go on now. These weary bones of mine must rest. Alright, cool. Where am I going? Alright, cool. Roll, roll, roll my boat gently down the roll. 
Rolly, 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 out the... Okay, maybe not out of the town I go. Alright, where the fuck is actually the, um... Where is the dungeon in comparison to where my house is in the town? Oh, it's up. Okay. I should know that. I should have known that. Where... Is it this one on the left? Yeah, it has to be this one on the left. Let's go! To the depths! Schlorp. Okay. So, that shields me, and that attacks, okay. Fuck you, little grass bastards! Hello? Anyone in here? Yeah, screw you, Gollum. I'll take that. Sweet. Alright, cool. Back in we go. Haven't taken a single hit yet. That's going to change, isn't it? I'm probably going to get absolutely battered after. Huh. Interesting place. To person, hopefully far better luck than I. My time is short. Took an injury from a strange creature across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though. I'd say he's fair better than he. He caught me spying on him in the guardian's room. He dropped a couple of items when he fled. One of which was this map diagram. Whatever, here it is, right? They called me crazy. Said, oh, crazy Pete, done, gone, lost his marbles. But I was right. Each guardian of the dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to that giant locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth door of Rhinoca. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologise for the smell. The diagram should be around here somewhere. Please, open the fifth door, Rhinoca. These dungeons are not what they seem. Okay, cool. Big Boss gonna kill me. I suppose to let them all out. Now I have to chase this weird creature that sells stuffs. Uh, Big Boss gonna be so upset with little me. Okay, cool. Cool, so I have to get one from each. Makes sense. Oh, he gave me some stuff as well. So, B, B, B. I press B. Am I just meant to get out of here? I'll tell as a yes. Okay. Sweet. That wasn't too bad. We escaped with a pendant. Not bad for a first run. Hello, I'm alive again. Ah! The young proprietor of Moonlight has returned! You look intact. Fun learn to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. What are you holding? The child of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You you found old Pete? Dead. See? This is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem Dungeon. And look after Moonlighter. Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in. Attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently, they need some startup capital first. Would it be nice to see? See, wouldn't it? Would would be nice to see some new life in Rhinoka. Nice indeed. Indeed, it would. Indeed, it would, old man. Let's go to the town board and see what we got here. Town? I don't have enough to invest. Yeah, I, I do not have enough to invest at all. But that's fine. I'm sure eventually we'll earn enough. Uh, we've got a place. Uh, 
Let's go with 110. Um, so I go 100 for that? I don't know. I don't know. We'll put a water sphere on there as well. Okay. I don't know. We'll put this on for like 50 maybe? Or 40? Oh, we can stack. Oh, we can stack them. That changes everything. Can I stack? Ah, uh, can I stack? Okay, that's fine. I don't know, we'll put like 10 on that. Alright, cool. I think we're good. So let's let them in, we'll see how bad they are for price of these things. And we'll go from there. Oh, I put out for 300. Oh no, a hundred. Wait. Oh, she's bought all three. Okay, cool. She liked that one. Can I, can I look at my wares? No. What do you think about my sticks for ten each? You don't like that? Okay. So sticks aren't worth that much. Okay, cool. She liked that. That's always good. I'll sell that to you. Oh, he really liked that. Okay, so that's underpriced. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. We had a decent chunk of money on that first run. So we can go and invest in the town now, which is always great. You're not going to like it, are you? You're not going to want it. No one's going to want it. Can I put more stuff? Oh, I can put more stuff on. Okay. Okay. Okay, so if I reduce this to just like three each some whetstone. I don't know. I don't know what whetstone's worth. We'll put 10 on each for that one. Uh, far? Teeth stone. I don't know. We'll put 10 on that one, I guess. Because we don't know yet. We don't know yet. We'll find out what people like think of our pricing. Probably, is he going to be really underpriced or really overpriced somehow? Yeah, still overpriced. Though well, she does need it. So, even though she doesn't want it, she wants to sell it, wants to buy it. That's fine. Uh, let's place... What's wrong with it? Is it... Four was like, okay. What about one? Give me that. Alright, cool. Gonna buy it? Gonna buy any of my stuff? Okay, so whetstone's still really cheap. It's good. The more we know, the more we know, the more we can sell this for. Which is good. In a way. I'm not making as much money as I could do right now. But that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Uh, Alright, three is really good. So what if we go with a five... And then we can chuck uh, foundry resets. Oh, an ancient pot. I didn't realize I had these. If they're ancient pots, should we go with a full? I'm gonna go. With a f I'm gonna go full on on the nose, high up money. No, you still like that. All right, cool. Hang on. Let me let me just quickly change the teeth stone price. Oh shit. Um, we're at five. Oh, he really like, he like that. That's good. Cool. Okay. I think we found the right pricing for these things at the minute. It's starting to get more sales. It's starting to sell a lot more. This is a lot better. Alright, I'll sell that to you. Right. Give me a second. Uh quick place. Quick place. Oh, can I can only put okay.
Uh, what was the pricing for those? Okay, four wasn't great, so we go with that. Um, no one's done any with that. No one's done any with that. Alright, cool. We'll go with those. Ah, he liked it at that. Okay, cool. You can have it at that price. Feel free. Feel free, good sir. You may have it at that price. And also, I'm going to put these down. And we'll go five again. Okay. We made quite a decent chunk. Thousand for a day. That's pretty good. Okay, so we need to go and clear that. Oh, I can track the shit in there. Alright, cool. Okay. What we'll do is I will have one more quick run um, and then we will end the episode. I just want to have one more quick run of the dungeon because we haven't got yeah, we haven't the second dungeon yet. In we go, Mr. Moonlighter. Mr. Will of the Moonlighties. What we do is we'll invest in the town. Oh, what's this? Hang on, I've got the wrong weapon out. Okay. Ow, oh, shit. What the hell? What's with all the uh, all the slight shiftings? That went well, didn't it? Let's try that again. <laughs> Let's try that again instead of just getting straight up smacked down. Okay. Okay, screw you. These are gonna fall, aren't they? Give me all that stuff. Give me all your sweet, sweet loot. Fuck you both. Anything here? No. No, nothing, nothing. Okay, cool. So that was a waste of my time. So we've gone left, let's go up. Oh, is this a healing thing? Fucking... Okay. Interesting. Ow, fuck you. Give me your stuff. Must be placed at the top or bottom of a bag. That's easy enough. Okay. Let's see what's up here. Oh, hi! Ow, oh, fuck. Help! Help! Fuck it! Okay, cool. I decided to I decided to just run with our, our spoils so far because I don't have enough to to really survive, honestly. Okay, let's quickly put some investment in. Uh, we will... That one. Yes. There we go. We've invested in him, and he can now make us weapons, I believe. Let me go over to him. Game? Can I move yet? There we go. Aye, you must be Will, no? 
the one who requested my forge. My name is Andre, forge master extraordinaire. If it's weapons you seek or armor, Vulcan's forge is the place. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, cool. So, it costs us a lot of money to upgrade. Okay, well, at least we know. So, I'm going to end the episode here. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like in the section below. And if you want to see more of this, do subscribe to the channel. I upload every day. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.